Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, I'm going to give all praise to Most High Yahweh. Acknowledgement of the Earthly Mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledge Yahweh Shai. I pray the Most High blesses this lesson this evening, gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past in order to understand events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. The whole world is breaking this very important commandment. You shall not bear false witness. Now, they're breaking all the other commandments in order to break this one right here. The scriptures are very clear. You know, and these people's actions and their laws show you that they are following the laws of man. Prime example, in order to receive some type of mercy, you need to, if you go back to Ezekiel 33 and 15, you need to restore the pledge and restore the stolen property that you have in your possession. But we go back to that story about how it was illegal, or it is, is illegal in, in Britain, and I'm sure all these other countries that are all Confederate, to return stolen property. When you understand this, and it just shows you that their laws seem, they, they believe their laws supersede what the Most High says. They can keep all stolen property and say, white Jesus, and they're going to be forgiven. They don't care what the Most High says you have to do. They're going to do whatever it is they want to do. And that's going to be okay. But you see, when all these people in Psalms 83 have taken this covenant to go against the Most High and His people, they are all confederate with breaking this commandment. All of Psalms 83 is bearing false witness. Every time you call us african American. Black, Afro-American, Negro. All these names are not the names that the Most High gave his people. These are the designations that you have put on his people. And you've done this because you've all made a covenant, right? So since we understand that, Psalms 83, verse 3. Well, let's start with 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They've all hidden us. So they're all bearing false witness, right? They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. The Most High gave us that name. The Most High made us a nation. So now you're seeing how they all play dumb because they're all confederate with bearing false witness. This is what is going on right now. This is how there's two sets of laws. There's two realities, you know, and this is exactly what's going on. Like, and the Most High says, you're not allowed to go and steal other people's lands. You're not allowed to go and steal their blessing. But you guys, you know, the other nations have been like, oh, if I just get over here and just put a flag in the ground, now, this place is mine. You know what I'm saying? You guys, it, it, and, this is, and this is why now that this truth is coming out, you're so quiet. There's no one coming out trying to discredit the information, trying to prove it wrong. Because you know we're dealing, we're living in two totally different realities. And it makes much more sense. When you understand Psalms 83, you understand how their whole world is guilty of bearing false witness, then when these um, prophecies begin to be fulfilled, you understand what is being said in the Bible. Okay? And uh, we're going to go right here. Let's see here. Matthew 24 and 30. 
I'm going to hit on this a couple times. It's not just going to be just a quick video on it, but I have other books that I want to go into and connect all this. Matthew 24 and 30. 24 and 30. And immediately, at, well, sorry, 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. So after our tribulation, after our people have gone through the tribulation, after they have lost their identity, after they've gone through a world that the whole, you know, a situation where the whole world is bare, has been bearing false witness, and they awaken, what's going to happen in verse 30? And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Why exactly are all the tribes of the earth mourning? Because they have been bearing false witness. All of the nations have been bearing false witness. That's why they've all assumed all these identities that are not theirs. They have taken the true identity of the Most High's chosen people away from them and given it to others, given their blessing to others, and left the Most High's children, excuse me, with absolutely nothing. This is how they've all be been bearing false witness. Okay? Is all his commandments have been all of his commandments have been broken to maintain the false witness. You know? So they can kill and that's okay. They can covet and that's okay. Right? They've been coveting our, you know, our, our lands, our blessings, and they've taken all these things for themselves. So when you understand this about the whole world bearing false witness, now it helps you understand the end days prophecies in the scriptures. Again, Jeremiah 16 and 19. Let's go there real quick. Jeremiah 16 and 19. Again, all about bearing false witness. Behold, I will sin. Actually, uh, let's go to 19. O Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge. In the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth, and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Why is that? Because the whole world has been confederate with bearing false witness. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5. Verse 1, then shall the a righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. They're all confederate with bearing false witness, and that's why none of them want to make any account of our labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, so far beyond all that they looked for. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High? And his lot is among the saints. Why don't they know this? Because the whole world has been confederate with bearing false witness. So is, is I can tell where you're coming from. As soon as you start talking about African Americans, Black people, Negroes, anyone that doesn't have any, you know, any real standing in society, and that's what you've, uh, you know, you put that label you put on the most chosen people. You've all, you're all confederate with bearing false witness, and you're all going to pay for this, just like your stories in the news. Hey, man, I thought we were we we're going to be going after Iran soon. I thought there was all these things that are supposed to be happening. I thought, you know, everyone was about to go to civil war with Texas. Because, you know, they're, they're trying to secure the border. All of these stories are just nothing but false witness. They are trying to fulfill their breakdowns of our scriptures. They're trying to manipulate 
the news, to manipulate events in order to try to make it seem as if the prophecies that they have been pushing this whole time are, you know, are what's coming to pass. So that people won't look at what's really coming to pass. The This is the pretty much the revelation or the revealing of the world and them bearing false witness. The most That's what exactly what these prophecies are. Revelation. Revealing. They're revealing the fact that the whole world is nothing but a society of false witness. And it's all this false witness against the most size chosen people. They've, they've stolen lands. They've claimed lands. That, you know, and, and it's illegal for them to return these things. Right? You can kill Israel. Kill Israelites. Just like, you know, you're, you're already, they don't have any standing. You can do whatever you want to them. But as long as you know that whole false witness continues, you turn a blind eye to absolutely everything. But this is what's going on right now. In the Shepherd of Hermas, there's a story about the leaves of the trees in the wintertime. And how in the wintertime, the trees all look the same. And we represent the trees because none of the trees have any leaves. They have no growth. So all the trees look exactly the same. But after winter and when spring comes and summer comes, all of a sudden, some of the trees will sprout beautiful flowers and leaves and, and you know, birds are going to come and make their nests there and everything else. But the vast majority of these trees are, to, are going to continue in their dead state. Those ones that are going to continue in their dead state are the ones that have been bearing witness, bearing false witness against the Most High's chosen people. These are the ones that have turned their back on the Most High and turned their back on the Most High's people. This is why the whole world mourns, right? This is why they're going to come and say, our fathers have inherited lies. Because your forefathers have been handing down lies about who you are. They've been handing down lies about who we are. That's why with us all in chapter 5, everyone is totally surprised because this whole, um, you know, act, these uh, actions of, bearing false witness, you know, consistently worldwide is coming to an end. That's why no one comes after this information. No one tries to prove it wrong. All they try to do is hide numbers. Don't send out notifications. You got to come straight to the channel and look for the video of the day. They're not going to help you to find any of this information. They're going to um, suggest old videos and not the new ones. I've been getting a lot of uh, people talking to me about things that they've been experiencing. Because in the older videos, we weren't into the other, this other information that the Most High has been downloading to us here at the end. Bringing everything full circle. You know, in the book of Enoch, during the, uh, the story of the 70, 70 shepherds, Most High told the angels to keep an eye on what they're doing. Keep an eye on what the shepherds are doing. They're going to kill way more than what they were supposed to. But he says, don't say anything to them, though. Don't alert them to their devious ways. Or don't let them know that we're watching, and that the angels are watching their devious ways as well. He said, yeah, the whole world is going to be in ignorance. And why will the whole world be in ignorance? Because Psalms 83, and anyone confederate with them, has been bearing false witness. But see, now that we've got Pluto is moved into Aquarius and society is going to be restructured unto the Most High's will. Pluto is representing the Most High's will, a higher order. The world has been allowed to, you know, do their thing and on a very low frequency, but the Most High is coming to right all these wrongs. All these things that they have been hiding, like who we are, who they are, whose we are, what belongs to us, what belongs to them. Pluto is going to bring all that out. And it's a very slow moving process because Pluto is going to be in Aquarius for about 20 years. And just look, we're barely in February. And these people are straight crickets. Crickets. Nothing to say. Nothing to, you know, prove anything that they've been bringing out this whole time. And if you if you're this if you're this quiet in February, 
not even a month after Pluto has moved into Aquarius. Just imagine what your future holds. And see, what, what this book I'm going to be getting into and, and connecting all this about Pluto is that pretty much that you know that the vast majority of the world has not made themselves ready for what is to come. There are huge changes coming, but we have been blessed to have been prepared for this time. We've been given knowledge and understanding. Most High has showered us with his love and given us the Holy Spirit once again, given us our angels and our ancestors and our spirits around us to guide us and to give us understanding. Because this time of, you know, these people have they've been bearing false witness. It's going to be a horrible time for them because they are not prepared for what is to come. The Most High is going to raise up the ancients once again, the ancient people, the ancient practices, they came and established new people where the ancients were. They've established new people in the positions of the ancients. But these people are not ready. These people are not prepared for the knowledge and the download and the information, the changes that are coming. So just you're going to realize real quick that just because these Europeans, these colonizers came over here and they've been the ones dictating who's who, they're going to be shown really quick that they have absolutely no power to enforce any of the things that they've been saying. The scriptures, like we said, two realities. The scriptures were given to one group of people. Psalms 147, 19 and 20. They've been, the, these scriptures were only given to one group of people. And they are the only ones that the Most High deals with. They're the only ones that are allowed to break them down, you know, with the power of the Holy Spirit. Psalms, 140, one, Psalms 147, 19 and 20. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as, far, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. These other nations cannot break down these scriptures. That's, but see, the fact that they can't break them down is being, you know, is being exposed by them having to fake all of these events. How can you be talking about people that weren't even a country, that weren't even a people, somehow fulfilling scriptures? These scriptures have nothing to do with these people. Scriptures revolve around the Israelites. And it revolved around the revealing of these people who have been confederate with bearing false witness against the Most High and his people. And they don't want you to know that. So therefore, they will continue to orchestrate events, get you all riled up, get you on a low frequency, and then, get, and then nothing happened. And then all of a sudden, it'll be another event the next day. Another event after that. Because they have to try to tell you and prove to you that their breakdown of the Bible is true. All the while trying to hide the fact that the true people of the book are fulfilling prophecies every single day. And so are you. Every day you call us African Americans, you're bearing false witness. You have slaves still in your possession. The Most High already told you what's going to happen in the book of Exodus 21 and 16 with that. You've stolen property, but you're going to say that, oh, well, it was against the law for us to give it back. Well, that just shows you that you follow man and not the most high. Because you could easily start to return the possessions of the people. If you want any type of mercy, that's exactly what you should be doing. But if you think that keeping it for, you know, keeping things that aren't yours all the way until the end is going to profit you, be my guest. But the Most High is allowing you to hear this truth for a reason. The choice is yours. There will be other videos on this topic. Just talk, but, you, but once you understand things from this point of view, then when you look at things that they're doing, you can easily see right through the lies. You know, I don't even have people even trying to even fight the fact that we are the original people of the lands. You know, with what proof? You guys don't have any proof. You have, because I said so, but that's not proof of anything because you said so. Because the more we study and the more the Most High sends the Holy Spirit, the more she opens our eyes, 
the more we feel, re, re, the more we realize you have absolutely no basis, no foundation for anything that you say. All praise is most high, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledge Yahweh Shai. Shalom.